Hello, today I'm making this instructional video to show others about compounding your own LDN, which is low dose naltrexone. Um, if you don't know about LDN and low dose naltrexone, this video is not to tell you about that. Um, there are a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of information out on the internet about the benefits of LDN and what it treats. Um, so you'll, you'll need to do other research. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming you already know about LDN and are probably already taking it or you're thinking about taking it. Um, now, with LDN, you can't get that at a regular pharmacy, such as um, a Walgreens or CVS. Um, it needs to be compounded by a compounding pharmacy. So, you might ask yourself, well, why would you want to do this versus getting it via a compounding pharmacy? Um, and there's, I have a couple of different reasons why I chose to do it this way. Um, maybe some of these are the same reasons that you might have. Um, if so, you might want to give this a try. And another reason is when I first read about this, it seemed a little bit complicated. Um, but then when I finally just did it, after I've, I've been doing it, I've been compounding my own now probably for about six months. Um, it's very simple, uh, and it's a, and it's a lot more beneficial to me for other reasons, which I'll get into further along in this video, of why I like this versus a compounding pharmacy. Um, now, I use Skip's uh, Pharmacy down in Deerfield Beach. Uh, they were great. I didn't have any problems with them. I didn't stop. I didn't do this because I was having an issue with my compounding pharmacy. This just better suited uh, me. Um, so if you're wondering, well, well, what would those reasons be? Why would you do this versus the compounding pharmacy is my insurance company, for some odd reason, they do not pay for compounded medications. Um, so I had to pay out of pocket to have my LDN made. Also, that Skip's Pharmacy is located down in Deerfield Beach, and I'm up in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, so I would have to call them, set up the order. They would have to place the order. I'd have to give them credit card information, and then it'd have to be mailed. My insurance company will pay for naltrexone at regular dosage, which is 50 milligram tablets, and 100 milligram tablets. Um, so that was a, that's another benefit was my insurance covers it made doing it this way. Um, I do the 50 milligram naltrexone tablets. Um, and like I said, my, I get 30 um, a month, but I don't use that many because I'm only using milligrams. Um, you know, no more than point, uh, 4.5 milligrams. So that was another benefit. Um, another thing I liked about it was when you first get on LDN, it's hard to figure out that exact, what your correct dose is. Now, pe most people start out at 1.5 um, milligrams and work up to a max of 4.5. Well, I never really found my exact my perfect dosage and what I have found that works best for me is to alternate my doses so I never take the same LDN dosage a day I mix it up I take between 1.5 and 4.5 and I alter it daily so one day I'll take two milligrams the next night, I'll take 4.5. So I go up and down. Not those exact, and sometimes I'll do 1.5. And I have found for me that that works best for my body. My sleep, my side effects, everything. 
And I, like I said, I've been doing that for about four months. I've been doing my own compounding for about six months. Then I started alterating my doses about uh, four months ago and it's worked perfect for me. So that's something you can try. And that's another reason you might want to compound your own is if you're having trouble finding what your exact dose is, if you use a compounding pharmacy, they're going to make you up a month's supply, 30 tablets at a certain dose. Then you have to take that dosage until you run out. Well, if that wasn't the right dose, you have to wait so many days to, then you got to go back to your doctor, get a different prescription. Say, say you were on two and you're like, well, that's not right. I need to go up. So you got, so now you got 30 day supply and then you got to take all that out or throw it out, go get another prescription, have that sent into the pharmacy. Then you get that dose. So you were at two, you're going to try three. So now you're at three milligrams. Well, you take that and you're like, well, this isn't right either. So it's a, it's a process trying to figure out your right dosage. And if you're dealing with the pharmacy and the doctor, then that, <clears throat> that be can become um, a lot of hassle. Where you do this, you decide what you make the, the, the medicine. Well, you don't make the medicine. You compound it and you can decide then and there what dosage of it you want to take. So, everything I got, I, I bought this stuff off eBay and it was all fairly inexpensive. <clears throat> Excuse me. All these supplies I bought, I don't think cost me more than $15 total. And what I got was uh, these little eight, I believe these are, let me see if I can see. I believe these are eight ounce amber cylinders. They come in that, they came with two. Um... And I read that you want to use the amber because apparently light can break down medicine's effectiveness. Um, and you'll probably want to store this in your refrigerator. That's what I've read. <clears throat> I've kept it out. I hadn't had any issue with it. But I use it up fairly quickly because me and my son are both on it. So um, I got these off of eBay. Then I got a 50 milliliter. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll put something up behind there that might help yeah so i got a 50 milliliter beaker off of ebay also and uh and another thing i got is this distilled water i get a gallon of it i get this at walmart i believe it's like less than a dollar for a gallon and then also you'll need some oral syringes I get these free from my pharmacy. This is a Walgreens one. I got this one a while ago at CVS. This is a five milliliter syringe. You just tell them when you go up there. And then Walgreens were out of five milliliter, five milliliter syringes when I was there last time, so they gave me a 10. Either will work. I like the smaller one just because it's a little easier to gauge um, your dosage. So you just ask them, they come in this, they'll just hand them out to you. They're free through, through either pharmacy that I've used. Um, so that's pretty much all the supplies you need to compound your own um, now load LDN. So I'm gonna go through the process with you. And uh, so what you do is you uh, take your cylinder, take your naltrexone. These are the 50 milligram tablets. They look just like that. You get a bunch of them. Um, I got some of these that I halved. I no longer do that. I did that for a while when I was the only one on it, but now that my son and I are taking it, I do 50. So you just take um, one 50 milligram naltrexone tablet, put it into your cylinder, take your beaker, add your distilled water, and you got little lines on here. I'm usually pretty good about hitting the mark. Of course, now that I'm doing it on video, I'll probably jack it up, but we'll see. And I think I nailed it. All right, 50, mill 50 milliliters. All right. So then you take your 50 milliliters, add it to your naltrexone in your amber cylinder and then you'll let it set. I put the cap on it, and then I'll set it up on the counter in my kitchen. 
And then um, I've read it takes about an hour for a tablet to fully dissolve. I usually give it at least three hours just to make sure. I'll set it on my uh, cabinet, on my countertop, and periodically throughout the day as I walk by, I'll pick it up and give it a shake um, until it's fully dissolved. And that's pretty much, that's, that's it. I, I mean, the process isn't done, but that's pretty much all you have to do to compound your own LDN. Now in this uh, cylinder, this is a batch I made earlier today so I could uh, show you how it goes. And if you, let me see if you can see in here. Where's the camera? If you see, it's kind of cloudy looking and that's the way it'll stay. Let me see, where's the camera on here? If you look in here, it's a, it's a little cloudy looking and that's the way it'll stay. Now, after I've compounded it, Whoa. and uh, have shaken it up where it's fully dissolved. I usually don't mess with it too much, and the reason is because the naltrexone is now dissolved in throughout the, the water, the distilled water. And I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna take some of this out. As you use it, and say this is, and so what you do is when you take your dose, you'll come in, put your syringe in, Fill it up to, hey, I'm gonna take three milliliters today. Each milliliter corresponds with a milligram. So three milliliters would be equivalent to three milligrams of LDN. And you can figure, hey, I'm gonna take three tonight, see how that works. I'm gonna do it for a week, a month, how long, until uh, you figure out it is the right dose or it isn't the right, right dose. And like I said, for me, I like to alter my doses. I like to go high, low, back and forth anywhere between the 1.5 and the 4.5. <clears throat> and it's worked out great for me. So I'm going to um, just go, I just wanna get rid of some of this because I, I wanna show you as you go, as you use this. And I've read that this stuff is good for 14 days. Um, and they, they recommend to refrigerate it. Um, I, I do refrigerate it and I don't. Um, the thing is when it's chilled, it's got a more bitter flavor for some reason than when it's at room temperature. I never keep a dose for 14 days. I go through it um, about every four days at most. Um, like I said, me and my son are both taking it and, um, and I'm getting 30, 30, 50 milligram tablets a month. So I don't need to um, be stingy with it. I can... And here's the re another reason I like this. Like I said, now you're getting the naltrexone in the distilled water. And this is the batch I made up the other day. And as you go through it, and the reason I'm doing this, you'll see here in a second, is it'll be cloudy. But you'll also see, I don't know how good I can show this on the video, but there's also these little particles. If you look down in the bottom there, now those are all fillers that are put into the tablets. You don't need those. There's no benefit to the fillers in those tablets. What you want is the naltrexone only. So another benefit to doing this is, you're not having to take, I mean, you might get some little bit of the filler when you use a syringe, but like I said, I shake it a couple of times the first day. After that, I let it set, and I only draw off of the fluid on top so the fillers all settle to the bottom of the uh of the thing it looks just like a crushed up aspirin that didn't dissolve that's what it looks like in there and those will stay no longer how long you keep this those fillers will not dissolve into the uh solution so um and that's it so like i said i and the reason i made this video was because <clears throat> I, when I read about it, I said, well, that sounds fairly easy, but I'll, I think I'll jack it up or something. So I, I put off doing it for a while. I was on the, uh, on the compounded, pharmacy compounded LDN for about six months before I finally said, you know what, I'm going to try it. And once I did it, I'll never go back to a compounding pharmacy now for the, the many reasons which I listed. Price, ease of and being able to easily 
adjust my own dosage. Um, well, that's all I got. Um, I hope this uh, <clears throat> video was helpful. If you're on the fence thinking about compounding your own or not, uh, maybe this will help you decide one way or the other. Um, basically, I don't see why you wouldn't do it this way versus the doing the tablets, going through the compounding pharmacy. But to each his own, hopefully this helped you out, and good luck.